Cycle World's International Motorcycle Show finally made its way to sunny Los Angeles. Want to know what manufacturers from around the two-wheeled world have to brag about in 2010? Take off your helmet, drop your stand, and learn something. Number 5 on our list of awesome bikes is the Yamaha Star Raider. If you're thinking this one looks like a chopper that you could actually see yourself riding, you're right. Yamaha infused this bike with all the precision of the company's electric keyboards, but threw in a tasty dash of hardcore soul for spice. This particular rocket has been worked over by fan creator Nick Inglada just for Ken Griffey Jr., Willie Mays, and Hank Aaron as a special charity piece. The best thing about this bike? The Star Raider will run forever, which is more than we can say for the brand that started the cruiser craze, Harley Davidson. If you believe the cats at Mission Motors, internal combustion is older than the Thanksgiving leftovers molding in your fridge. The brave new world of motorcycles is all electric, all the time, and the company is just what you need to stay on the forefront of two-wheeled action. Mission Motors is only producing 100 examples of the Mission 1, each with a price tag of 69 grand. If the MSRP doesn't snap your neck, the bike's ridiculous 100 foot-pounds of torque will, and the range sits at 150 miles. Ducati has stumbled into BMW territory with the Multistrada 1200S, a piece of enduro engineering mastery. This big Italian can take on the world's harshest terrain, even if the rider can't. With an upright seating position, the Multistrada is designed for an older rider who's done putting a knee down in the twisties but still wants to get out on the weekend. This Ducati's long travel suspension gives it the old grasshopper look, but the beautifully finished and great sounding Desmo motor can win over hearts and minds with the first flick of the ignition. That's good enough to land the Multistrada 1200S a solid number three in our book. You can quit wondering what it's like to be strapped to a Messerschmitt. BMW has the answer. The company's new RRS 1000 packs a galloping 193 horsepower and weighs less than your average Walmart customer. That doesn't mean this sucker will be stepping toe to toe with a lightweight 600 in the canyons anytime soon, but it's got all the grunt of the left off at the rear to make up for it. With harsh angles, gills, and protruding bodywork, the RRS 1000 has all the aesthetics of our favorite cheese grater, but it's still sexy enough to win us over for a number two finish. We're giving the gold to the 2010 Kawasaki Z1000. This bike is built to be the Swiss Army knife of two-wheeled euphoria. Completely reworked for the new year, the Z1000 packs a hot gearbox lined up with the big engine's crankshaft for beautiful shifts. Despite the stripped down attire and off-road demeanor, this Kawasaki is built to take advantage of the bucket loads of torque on tap to be an excellent sport tourer. The Z1000 sits the rider bolt upright to minimize fatigue over long distances, and while that's ideal for the older set, we have no problems envisioning ourselves in the saddle of Kawasaki's new beast. The trick digital display, potent inline four-cylinder, and Gotham styling give this bike the chops it needs to take on competition from the likes of their Prelia Tuano. And that's it from Cycle World's LA International Motorcycle Show for 2010. We'll see you in the corners. <laughs>